Voluntary stammering is stammering on purpose. You might wonder why we would ask you to try this, but there are very good reasons which I will explain. Stammering on purpose allows you to confront your stammer head on, so that you are doing the thing you fear, but under your own volition. Voluntary stammering is a desensitisation strategy that helps you to become less anxious around stammering. It may enable you to feel that you have more choices about how you speak and how you stammer. You can choose when to stammer and how to stammer. Voluntary stammering helps to break the cycle of anticipation. So rather than waiting anxiously for your stammer to reveal itself, you can take control and allow yourself to stammer on purpose. You can also learn that it is possible to stammer without excessive tension and struggle. When voluntary stammering, you are being open and honest about your stammer. You are telling your listener that you speak differently. You are being authentic. It is the exact opposite of avoidance. You are no longer hiding your stammer. Scary? Absolutely. So undoubtedly, voluntary stammering goes against the grain for many people who stammer, who are seeking fluent speech. There is a paradox at play here though in that by allowing yourself to stammer openly, you are working directly with the fear, anxiety, embarrassment and shame that can fuel your stammer. You are developing a greater acceptance and tolerance of your stammer, and with this comes a freedom and a relaxation. You are no longer having to strive to maintain a tenuous grasp on fluency or having to hide your stammer. So, some pointers on how to stammer on purpose. You can begin practice by yourself, reading aloud, selecting words to practice a voluntary stammer, then move to practicing in safe situations, perhaps with family and friends. Try stammering on the first sound of the word. You can either repeat the sound or bounce, for example, I, 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 I'm going to the shop, or you can prolong or slide on the sound. For example, say it again. Choose words that you would not normally anticipate stammering on. Some people find it easier to voluntary stammer on little words, for example, the or and. So for example, I'm going to the, the, the shops. The repetition or prolongation is made slowly and deliberately don't try to rush through the word. Remember you are not trying to hide the stammer and try to use both types of stammering, bounces and slides. You might try between one and five voluntary stammers in any given conversation, but it's up to you. It is also good practice to use eye contact when practicing voluntary stammering. This is not easy, but it sends a really powerful message to your listener that you are okay with your stammering. It also helps you to gauge their response to your stammering.